Qco6 went ahead and released a new powered speaker. This time, it's part of the same range as the wildly popular M20 bookshelf speaker, a powered one, which is currently sitting on my desk right now. It's an ultra compact micro tower, about 71 centimeters tall. It's two times 100 watts. It has high resolution wireless streaming via Bluetooth 5.0 with Aptex HD compatibility. Numerous connectivity options means that M40 can deal with any sound source, such as a TV, turntable, games console, set-top box, CD player, network streamer. Now they do specify that the turntable needs to either have a built-in phono stage or an external phono stage so that phono stage isn't built into the speaker itself. Something to keep in mind. But if you do have a turntable and a phono box, then you can just use these speakers. It's really just eliminating the integrated amplifier. It also has the C3 continuous curved cone designed for the mid bass driver. And I believe that's the same cone that's used in the 5000 series speakers. It's available on black, white, and walnut. I have the black M20s, looks nice. I hazard to think that the walnut looks maybe the best out of them all especially because it does have a black grill on the front and the grill is not removable. And Q Acoustics does state that the grill actually helps with the sound. Uh, it's kind of integral in the sound itself. I have mixed feelings on that because I love the way Q Acoustics speakers look, especially the way the drivers are configured and not being able to remove the grill, a little bit of a bummer, unless they just didn't go which I imagine they didn't. They just didn't go balls to the walls with the front fascia of this and just kind of left it. Uh, and they wanted a speaker that would differentiate from the rest of the range, which I get. Uh, but yeah, I, I love the way their speakers look. And I can't imagine that they made this look any way less attractive behind it. Maybe the screws are exposed or something like that. But yeah, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my speaker. But... I wonder, like, with the M40 being a short tower, I wonder if it, the driver configuration is the same as some of their other floor standards where it's like driver, tweeter, driver in that Diapolito configuration or if it's something else. I'm curious about that. Because if it is driver, tweeter, driver, then being a short floor stander... Unless you're sitting on your ground, that tweeter is not going to be at your optimum ear height. Now, I didn't see any images in their marketing material that showed the driver configuration. Let me let me just take a look right now, actually. It does show mid, tweeter, mid, which follows suit with what I was thinking. So being a short floor stander, tweeter's not at the optimum height for your ears the top mid bass driver would be at maybe your ear height potentially unless you have one of those cool japanese style couches where you're lower to the ground or again you're sitting on a beanbag chair on the floor or just crisscross applesauce on the floor i i don't know uh but i will hold any of my assumptions which are usually completely wrong every time i've made one um an assumption that is uh i'm normally completely wrong Actually, that just happened uh, this last weekend uh, when I was at uh, Can Jam weekend and uh, I got to go to the Macintosh House of Sound. I know this is a bit of an aside, but I heard a small bookshelf speaker from Sonus Faber. And my first thing that I said was, oh, I'll, I'll mess this speaker up. There's no way this speaker has anything for me. And that tiny speaker smashed out sound like it went lower than i could have ever imagined a speaker that small would have gone and again just completely proven wrong so i will hold my judgments until i do hear the speaker for myself i would break these you, what's that i would damage have these. you heard have you heard them before no i mean you look at these and you're like they should should do that well, yeah that's also awesome. they should do that which is why I'm saying corrective. Yeah. Drive units are two five inch units, one one inch treble unit. Crossover frequency is 2.5 kilohertz. Frequency response is 38 hertz to 22 kilohertz. There's two analog RCAs, 
one 3.5 millimeter RCA, which I imagine is for headphones or something. There's an optical, a USB type B connector, Bluetooth version 5.0, supported codecs are Aptex, Aptex HD, Aptex Low Latency, SBC, and AAC. There's a sub out, and uh, it weighs 26 pounds. In the box, you get one powered speaker and then one passive speaker, which is just hooked up via speaker wire to the active speaker. There's uh, four rear stabilizers. Is that like foam bungs, four stabilizers, or is that just like the rear stabilizer foot? Uh, you get screws, spiked feet, spiked cover, one remote handset, including batteries, speaker cable, four meters of speaker cable, power cords, and oh, and two foam bungs. So I don't know what a rear stabilizer is, but you get four of them. So this product is, I believe, out right now. So if you need a larger powered speaker, this is the one to get. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it.